Miguel Andujar, a guy that was playing okay up at the major league level. He was playing well in left field, right? In my opinion, playing better outfield than Aaron Hicks. So he, he was holding his own out in left field. He was consistently putting the ball in play, coming up with timely hits, which is huge for me. Absolutely huge. And huge for the Yankees, obviously. Miguel Andujar, because of the circumstances, was sent down to AAA. And now he's requesting a trade. So are the Yankees going to trade him? We don't know. I think they're going to hold on to him as long as they can. He provides depth to that organization until they run out of options for him. Miguel Andujar is going to be in this organization. And that's sad. In my opinion, I'm a big I'm, I'm a big Andujar guy. I love him. I've loved this bat from the very beginning. It stinks that he's not getting the opportunity here. And quite frankly, I mean, yeah, his OPS, not very good. He needs to see the ball a little more. He needs to work some counts more. He needs to work a couple walks. But this kid consistently puts the ball in play. And when it comes down to important at-bats, makes things happen. And that's the unfortunate thing that he's not up on this major major league roster when you have guys like Aaron Hicks and Joey Gallo who are just incredibly frustrating. Yes, Joey Gallo hit a home run. Yes, Joey Gallo is beloved by that Yankee clubhouse. Everyone loves him. He's probably a good guy. But the fact of the matter is this. Joey Gallo strikes out a ton. A ton. And whenever he gets a hit, it's a home run. That's very rare. It's rare. He's got six home runs this year. What? What does he have? Nine RBIs? He's left so he's he's left, I believe, over 90 runners on base, which is absolutely crazy. Crazy. Joey's having a tough year, no doubt about it. And you had Miguel Andujar, who was consistently putting the bat in the ball, and if he was given the at-bats to play consistently, that pop would have emerged. He would start hitting home runs, and then all of a sudden, he started hitting doubles, and then all of a sudden, that OPS jumps. It jumps. Sadly, Miggy is down there in AAA and wants, wants out. I hope we move him to Pittsburgh. He hits 35 home runs over there and shows the Yankees what they're missing. Listen, I totally get it. You don't want to release Aaron Hicks or DFA Aaron Hicks. You don't want to DFA Joey Gallo. You don't want to get rid of Marwin Gonzalez. You don't want to get rid of Matt Carpenter. Marwin, you don't want to cut. Because this guy can play anywhere in the field. Matt Carpenter has injected life into this Yankee lineup. So you can't cut him. So Miguel Andujar, a guy with options, unfortunately, was the guy that they chose to send down. So the Yankees now might be in the pickle. And maybe it is in their best interest to trade him. Maybe. Miggy wants it. Will the Yankees do it? I don't know. Only if it makes sense for them. But listen, Miguel Andujar, in my opinion, very good hitter. Very good. He needs to see more pitches, of, of course. But he, he's a very good hitter. The home runs were going to come. The doubles were going to come. He was adjusting. He needed more at-bats. But unfortunately, he's now down there in AAA. Getting at bats, sure, but he could be contributing to this major league roster. Absolutely, freaking lootly. And like I said, holds his own left field. Listen, Miguel Andujar changed his position, agreed to change his position, worked at it, and he's pretty freaking good out there. Listen, he's not freaking Tory Hunter, or Andrew Jones. Not what I'm saying. But the guy's an okay left fielder. He's okay. 
He could hold his own out there. And that's what you want. That that's what you needed. And he did that. But you're not letting him play because of Aaron Hicks, money, and Joey Gallo, money. That's all it comes down to. Money, 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 money. You want to make good on your investment. So you're leaving these guys in. And now you have a disgruntled player who could be contributing on this Major League roster and he wants to get traded out. I don't blame him. Hopefully the Yankees, we can fix this. But I'm not sure if they will. So guys, listen, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the support. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a long time, if you're brand new, thank you for subscribing. Listen, we just hit 3,000 subscribers. I can't believe in me I'm even saying that. We just hit 3,000, and I just want to thank you guys so much for that. It means so much that you're watching my content, hitting that like button, commenting, giving your opinions. It means the, it means the world. I'm talking baseball. This is what I love to do. I love talking baseball. I love talking Yankees. This is my passion. This is what I love. And I wanted to turn this passion into something. And we're doing it. So I just want to thank you guys so much for that. Listen, everyone. Thank you all for watching. More Yankee content on the way. This is Joe. And until next time, signing out.